Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make this extreme hair growth treatment for faster hair growth. Now, this treatment will leave your hair feeling extremely moisturized, which is really important if you are trying to retain length. And also, it will thicken your hair, making it have volume, which is absolutely fantastic because nobody likes thin hair, do we? Um, so I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video So you don't miss out on any useful information and let's hop right into the video So the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe will be some aloe vera powder Now aloe vera helps to strengthen the hair It helps with an itchy scalp, it protects your hair from UV damage, it promotes hair growth And it also conditions your hair which is absolutely amazing so I add about two tablespoons of that. Now I'm going in with some neem powder. Now neem powder conditions the scalp. It promotes healthy hair growth. It suits freeze. It reduces down draft. It minimizes gray. So really, really good. I added about two tablespoons of that again. But feel free to alter these quantities, guys, based on your preference. Now I'm going in next with some hibiscus powder. Now hibiscus stops hair loss, it makes your hair look very healthy and luscious, it prevents premature growing, it thickens hair and adds volume, it treats down dandruff, conditions against freeze, dryness and breakage and it also prevents splittings. So I'm going in next with some freshly made aloe vera juice. Now I have showed you guys on this channel numerous times on how to make aloe vera juice. Now if you haven't seen it, I will link a video where I make it somewhere up here for you guys. So do feel free to check that out. I just didn't want to bore you with you know showing you the same thing over and over again so I just popped that in there mixed it well um, until everything is sort of nice and combined so at this point I had quite a nice thick consistency and then I went in next with some avocado oil now I love to use avocado oil again because it's really nutritious for our hair and scalp I put that in there mixed it all well and then I added water gradually until I got the desired consistency. I did not want my mask to be too thick, neither for it to be too runny. So that's why I was adding the water gradually until I ended up with the consistency that I wanted. Now I'll suggest that you do it this way guys. If you add too much water initially, then you're going to have to add more powder later on. So it's just not worth it. Um, so yeah, just go gradually. And And this is pretty much what I ended up with. So a nice smooth consistency to my mask. So not too runny, not too thick, just the perfect consistency for my hair. So in this next part of the video, I will be showing you guys how I'm applying this mask to my hair. Now at the moment my hair looks a bit curly because I had sea moss in it. I just went ahead and I rinsed, rinsed it off without using shampoo uh, because I just didn't like how flaky it made my hair look. Um, so yeah, I decided to just rinse it off and apply this mask or treatment to it. So I actually loved how my hair was looking here. It was really nice and curly um and i couldn't pretty much just allowed it to dry and still wrap it like this to be honest but hey um it was time to just give my hair a bit of a treat um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and apply this mask so i'm sectioning my hair here into um pretty much like four sections i'm gonna do like four sections because it's just quicker for me you know um it's quite unusual for me anyways because i usually work on my hair in very small sections but yeah, I just wanted to do it just a little bit quick. So essentially, I'm just working the uh, the mask through 
my hair so i'm going to make sure that every single bit of my hair is covered i'm applying it to my roots and then working my way towards my ends and not forgetting my ends guys don't forget your ends because it's the driest and the oldest part of your hair and the part that's most likely to break um so yeah always treat it with a bit more love because essentially if it keeps breaking you're not going to see length like you're not you will have the impression that your hair isn't growing um but it is actually growing but it's just that it's breaking so yeah apply it to your ends as well your roots like pretty much everywhere i'm also going to go and sort of massage that onto my scalp now our hair grows out of our scalp so pretty much your healthy scalp is key to growing healthy hair or longer hair in general so definitely go ahead and apply it to your scalp guys because your scalp can certainly benefit from all of these nutrients even if it's just to keep it nice and healthy it's still important because that contributes to hair growth so i was just showing you guys here what my curls were looking like this mask definitely helped define my curls a lot more which i absolutely loved so i'm just going ahead here and twisting this section of hair that i finished uh, doing and then i'm just doing like a little banty knot so that it doesn't dry out as i work on the next section of my hair and i'm going to go ahead and repeat it until the rest of my hair is completely done now one thing that i must say that you should be aware of when you're making this mask is that it can be a little bit messy okay so you don't put your best shirt on or your white shirt and come and do this mask because it will get a bit messy just like you can see here i had it on my face i had it on my dress pretty much everywhere you know i had to constantly clean it because you know i didn't want to come on camera just looking like i'm you know mask everywhere on me pretty much but you can still see that i did have some um stuff left on me there so yeah just be aware that it could be a bit messy um but i didn't really mind it because after i finished this guys i went ahead and got changed and popped that dress in the washing machine so at this point i had finished applying the mask to my hair guys so this is what my hair looks like after I rinsed it off. I left my mask on for about three hours and then I rinsed it with some warm water and this is what is left pretty much. So you can see my hair is looking nice and shiny, it's really nice and moisturized, my curls are popping and I was quite happy with my results. Now as usual guys, I did not get the chance to seal the moisture in my hair straight after because you know life happens sometimes and you're just busy you just don't get the chance to do stuff at a certain time so my hair is sort of dry again um so i'm just going to sort of give it moisture again so i will be sort of moisturizing just like a little moisturizing routine and i just thought i would show you guys this part because somebody asked me before how i or how often I you know moisturize my hair so I just thought I would include this so I sprayed my hair with some water first then I'm, then I'm using a leave-in conditioner called cream of nature by cream of nature not called cream of nature gosh <laughs> by cream of nature but you can use any leave-in conditioner of your choice guys sometimes I don't always use this I make you know leave-in conditioners myself that I use on my hair um, but this time I just felt like using the cream of nature um leave-in conditioner so i'm just working that through my hair so i'm just using an oil here guys just to seal the moisture in my hair feel free to use any oil of your choice uh, that you're happy with so after i've done that guys i'm just making sure that it's well massaged onto my scalp and then i'm going to twist that section of hair and then move on to the next Um, so I just pretty much went ahead and did that throughout the rest of my hair so again just sprayed it with water applied the cream of nature leave-in conditioner and then went in with the oil 
again on my scalp and the rest of my hair now when you're applying growth oils guys to your scalp always remember to massage it okay scalp massages are really important because they increase the blood flow and essentially they help stimulate the follicles and promote hair growth so this is pretty much it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video so do take care bye bye